Yeah, I think I'll go with the Aston Martin. Get in car. Click, click. Oh, do I have to hit enter? Yeah, I have to hit enter. Manual transmission. <laughs> nice. play. Tiny bit around Laguna Seca. Don't mind if I do. No, oh, not tuning an upgrade. What was I trying to do? Assists, maybe? Manual clutch, yep, that's good. Oh, Mike, did you hear that they were going to, they made like a mod or something for Fallout New Vegas? Mm -mm. It's supposed to be like a, I can't remember, it was supposed to be like a, a, a backstory mod or something, or I have no idea. Hmm. I like just saw somebody, yeah, like conversion a Conversion kind of thing? I don't know, I just, uh, hmm. Just remind me, I saw somebody, uh, the Start official playing DLC it. is really like a private mod. No, it's private, I believe. Hmm. It's cool. Interesting.
man, I, I forgot how much heel heel towing in uh, manual transmission stinks when you don't have socks on. <laughs> Because I do it in my, with my real car, you know, and my uh, my brake and my accelerator are close enough together that I use like half of my foot. My foot's wide enough where half of my foot's on my on the brake, and the other half is well, the edge of one is on the other. Hmm. So I don't really heel toe. I kind of like like you know uh, ball of big toe to like ball of pinky toe, you know? Yeah, without socks, stinks. Or, I mean, without shoes. My shoes fell off. Maybe I need to get to myself a pair of racing shoes. <laughs> Put it next to my, uh, next to my computer. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's that's, that's what you can do with your first earnings from Twitch subscriptions. My whole zero dollars and zero cents? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Buy yourself a pair of Gucci racing shoes. Gucci. Racing loafers. <laughs> Louis, <coughs> Louis Vuitton or go home, man. Mm-hmm. some chunks out, now it hits perfectly. Too much acceleration in that turn. Yikes. Finish test drive. <clears throat> yes. Uh, five laps. Yeah, I guess five laps is okay. I'll probably need it, especially if it starts me at the back of the pack, which I'm assuming it's. Yep, it's doing awesome. Oh, the uh, the flag guy that was near the pits just like glitched the heck out. So, Dave, what you up to right now? Still eating? Uh, kind of. Yeah, I'm doing other. Uh... Nighttime stuff. That sounds interesting. When you say perfect. knifing? Nighttime. Nighttime. Oh. Well, I interesting know. nighttime oh. stuff. Oh. Well. No, I'm good. Just in the bed. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> get a good a shower. She wants pizza. Hey, are you ready to play? You ready to play? Oh God, Put down the pizza watch. and act some chicken. Put it on top and make it finger licking. 
<laughs> was it ice cream tartar sauce? Whipped cream pouring like waterfalls. <laughs> Something I can't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, they realized that we all just handed our man card in because we all said this on a live stream. Something unmanly about knowing that hilarious song. <laughs> I used to sing that around the house so much, man, I'd get shit thrown at me. <laughs> of course, that just makes me do it even more. Oh, yeah. The women, they do not understand this. This has been another session of man humor. Hey, Audi, you do know it's acceptable to accelerate and turn all at the same time. Your car is capable of it. Pass due to driver error. Infinitely slow, get out of my way. Can you narrow? Get out of my way. Finest example in utility sports. Unexplained fires are a matter of the course. Can you narrow? Can you narrow? Yeah, can you narrow? Go, can you narrow? Gone. Mark is playing Forza and streaming. What I mean is he's urinating while he's playing Forza. It's that exciting. Nice. Uh, that probably has happened. To me? <laughs> or to somebody else? So much oh, urine. I'm like a everywhere. puppy. I can't wear pants while I'm playing video games because I'll just pee right through. 
try to urinate while I do just about anything. No, it's I guess the that's space a... of life that makes everything more exciting. Ever try teaching? Of... Ever try teaching a class? Try it while urinating. <laughs> practicing your instrument? Well, try urinating and practicing your instrument. <laughs> Swimming in a public <laughs> pool with others? Try urinating. Oh, wait. Oh, speaking. Yes. Are you feeling nervous on stage when speaking to a crowd of people? You... You could picture the audience naked, or you could just urinate. <laughs> Comfortably deal with your urine will make you feel powerful and give you the confidence you need to speak to a crowd. Anger at your boss? Walk into his office and pee all over the place. Well. Wait. For added benefit, eat asparagus right before. Yes, so today is my Friday, basically. Um, oh, okay. Nice. I, I intentionally scheduled my, my Fridays off. Mm. So, uh, nice. But, you know, that doesn't really count as, like, having to do it. Mm -hmm. so, it's a fun day. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, Mike, or if you're around tomorrow night, I'll be hanging out at the studio. You know. Nice. We have that show tomorrow night, right? I... <sighs> I do, except, do I even need to be there? Did you pre-record I mean, yourself? I'm not doing anything. Oh. No, this is the school musical, so it's oh, all... Oh, you're not, you're not playing for it. Okay. No, no, man. It's just I've done all of the vocal rehearsals and stuff. So it's oh. like, oh, are you going to be there for the shows? I'm like, well, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Like, am I, oh, I'm just going to be there and watch? And it's not terribly exciting. At least you don't have to pay for it. Right, but I'm like, I don't want to see it four times. <laughs> Are you obligated to be there? S vaguely. Except that, I again, I'm not doing anything. So hey, it's not yeah. like I, I have a role to fill. This sounds like it's a perfect that... situation to implement your urination technique. Oh, <laughs> it all comes together. Duh. <laughs> Excellent. select a hero I've never played before. Oh, okay. I'm going to try. What do you suggest? I've only played the witch once. Uh, you do Marcus. Marcus is... That's a good... The dwarf or, Mar or the... I mean, Marcus I or... you'd like Marcus. Baldwin. Kind of... Car Marcus. In honor of my roommate. Marcus is kind of a, I mean, a pretty easy character to be, mm -hmm. it's straightforward as far as what you do with him it's just melee yeah. just hit things and block I heard he got melee. lost in his own museum yes yes my friends <laughs> Marcus Brody yes applause very good I really am to swap out. Apparently, I have a, I have no idea how this character works, but I have a green sword and shield, so I'm going to equip it. Yeah. Go with uh, that one. Although the halberd is fun. I'm not, no, actually, you don't think you get that on game one. Or I actually want that. I'm looking at the stats. I don't know why I want the sword and shield versus a two-handed hand. Oh, okay. Well, because it's a shield. He doesn't have... So he can only do one weapon at a time, or a single... Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you pick a weapon. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one to start with, and you want to use your shield a lot. And remember, you can just block and not strike. Like, you can just be defensive. Hey, like, TGM. you as the, uh... hold your shield up, and then I can actually strike, like, over you and through you and stuff. And it blocks for basically everybody, and then, you know. Okay. Well, as the magician, I wasn't often uh, doing any blocking at all, really. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is going to be a little different. Yeah. I can upgrade it, so I will upgrade it. got to learn to block. Hey, guys, I'll pop back in this channel a little bit later. Okay. Okay. He's... Hey, Nacho. 
Uh, you said you said you can't connect to any lobby now. Anybody else have that problem? I don't know. I haven't uh, I haven't tried any multiplayer lobbies. I'll have to check take a look. Uh, and TGM, yes, meat meat will will soon come later. We uh, we're thinking about maybe uh, playing breakfast uh, later on tonight. Uh, there's a little bit of meat going on in this, especially with some bumping of the cars. A little bit of damage. I don't think it's that realistic, though. Looks good, though. Hey, Crafty, how's it going? And we're going to pick a different car. Anybody have any suggestions for cars? They have this specialty dealer. Anything good? Hmm, 458 Italia. In fact, you know what? I just saw one of these on the road earlier today. Pretty cool looking. In fact, they may consider it. Hmm, legacy? How much? How much they want for this thing? Do I have it? Do I have any Ferraris? <clears throat> uh, cancel. Let's see. Wait, no. It's my garage. It's so weird going between the interface between this and uh, Horizon. I don't have any... 2017 Lincoln Continental. Really? That's in this game? Oh, it is! No way! Huh! Didn't realize that those things had that much horsepower. Sweet. Alright. It's, uh... Look at what we're dealing with here. Has an engine. Good. Uh, that appears to be... Is that front-wheel drive? That's a... It's like a horizontally posed engine. Uh, I don't think that's front-wheel drive. Paddle shift or auto? That looks like auto. Nice interior. All right. I'll give it a whirl, and I'll uh, see how it goes. <clears throat> Free play. Hmm. Setup. Race setup. Atlanta, Silverstone, yeah, I'll go to Road Atlanta, upgrade it. So what? I'm not going to put a bunch of mods on it, <clears throat> to be honest, because 
I'm not into modding cars too much. Otherwise, you might as well get a different car. If you ask me. Uh, let's see. I, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't tried it in stock, and I would like to try it first stock. So let me take a look. It looks like it's. We're gonna go ahead. You know what? We're gonna do manual, and that's that way I can do the uh, Mugello. Right, I guess that is a pretty good track. Yeah, might as well. That's some nice turns in it. We'll go with that one. But let me see. Day. All right. I'm going to check this out first. I want to see how this thing handles with the amount of power that it has first before I add any more power. Because more power doesn't always make a car better. Let me try uh, a test drive here. Let's see what goes on here. Uh, paddle shift. Nice. chirping underneath the car here in the turns. Well, yeah, I mean, through YouTube and or Twitch, the, everything's going to be delayed. There's a little bit of a delay time. This thing doesn't want to stay on the road as well. I think on a track like this, more power probably wouldn't help. Maybe a little bit in the straightaway, but... Um, just how it's handling under the, the turns. I'm having to really ease, ease into the turns. Uh, slow down quite a bit before I get into them because it's there's a lot of push, there's a ton of oversteer. Interesting uh, speedometer. Now, the cool thing about the chat is that I do get to see your chat right away, uh, but you guys won't see it right away. And, of course, when I respond to you, you won't obviously 
hear a response right away. So we, yes, we are going to be dealing with the delay. But, such is life on streaming. Decent sounding engine though. So just out of curiosity, uh, Nacho, if you're still watching, uh, what gravitates you towards this car? You just like it or just, uh, do you own one or? Got a little squirrely on the tires there. I randomly chose it because I was flipping through cars and that's the one I was on. Hey, that's a that's actually a good way to pick cars, and especially if uh, it's not one you would normally drive. Now I wouldn't have thought to have ever tried this, but uh, kind of glad I did. It's not it's not bad. In fact, it reminds me a little bit of uh, like an Aston Martin or. or uh, maybe like a Dodge Charger or something got that heavier sedan but with a nice beefy V8 engine. The V8? Or is it a twin turbo six? It doesn't kind of sound like know, it sounds like a six. I don't know. I, I, I don't know much about the car. You guys will have to educate me or I'll have to go online later and, and seek it out. Sounds a little uh, higher pitched and raspy, like a uh, like possibly a V6. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea. Actually, it'd be fun if they just had a random car selection. Uh, feature the surprise me button Windshield's gotten very dirty considering that I haven't really done much. Yeah, was there like a windshield wiping feature? I thought there was. What is going on here? Assists. Oh, ABS is off. Well, no wonder why. Uh, Say so they do have the cycle division in multiplayer, so each race you have a different version or different division car, which makes for a. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's see, traction control on, because this car would have that. Um. 
Let's check that out. Oh, they only come on then? Okay. I thought there were... I, for some odd reason, I thought there was a button. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Dirt Rally. I don't know. The windshield's a little, uh, a little dirty. I wish I could just kind of wipe it off. A little sprayer nozzle action working. Got a little bit of the grass there at my right wheel and completely threw the traction off. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, if you guys let me know how the, uh, the video looks and sounds, um, that'd be awesome. So that if like, there's any issues with it, I could adjust it right away. I think I've uh, honed in most of my settings, but um, sometimes it tends to do something weird from time to time. It should be coming through as 1080p, 60 frames per second. Yeah, see, there's a lot of understeer. I tried to tried to turn a little bit sharper there and it just uh there's too much plow it just went just went forward instead of going left in that case all right not bad probably not gonna race with it so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the test drive and go back out to the main screen Yes. It appears it is. Oh, okay, well, thank you. Appreciate it. I like getting that type of feedback so I can make sure to continue to release good content for viewers. I don't... Yeah. If I, uh, if I go through an entire live stream or, you know, and the audio is crackly or the video looks a little bit off, then, you know, I go back and, uh, kind of disappointed with it. I'm like, ah, why didn't anybody tell me? I could have tried to fix it or, you know, used some sort of other platform. Uh, let me go to cars. Let's see, 1993 Toyota number one T100 Baja truck. I don't know if they have that. Maybe I do. Car collection. Uh, no, not car collection. My garage. Man, it's, it's so so weird to try to Toyota. Nope, don't have it. Uh, I might buy it later, but hmm, uh, you know, I might go with this 2016 Porsche Cayman GT4. Yeah, let's do that. It's crackly, but I don't know if it's my end or not, since the game is up to oh okay well usually the the crackly sound will come through as just my voice crackling not well no i think it comes through as both but like if it's if it's really bad like you can't tell what i'm saying or if it's just completely annoying yeah i got yeah just let me know and i'll see if i can do something about it Yeah, I think it's just my the streaming software. I'm going to... I keep on saying I need to go back to OBS. I probably will do that pretty soon. Mm. Car needs... 
car needs to be a different color. No, you know what? I like it. It's not too bad. It's like a slate gray metallic. I'll get in it. I'll drive it. It'll be fun. Single player, free play. And I think I'm going to go to the crackle when the voice initially comes on. Okay, but it doesn't stay the, the whole time when I'm speaking. It's just kind of like a pops in and out every once in a while. See, it's good for me to know this stuff, uh, especially while I'm streaming. Because if it's not horrible, then I'm not going to, you know, stop right away. But if it's, if it's like, unwatchable, like, people will be in the middle of watching, they're like, yeah, I can't do this anymore, then, then I'll do something about it. Okay. Four day. Sport coupe. We will accept assists. None. Actually, <laughs> Keep traction on. We'll turn manual clutch and uh, ABS on because I know this car has all those lovely traction goodies. And since I'm not planning on drifting much, I do want to stay on the road. Oh, okay. So it does that on... It, it's a thing that it does on your end sometimes. Okay. Not that it makes me feel that much better, but it makes me feel better that, it's, you know, people are not going to be trying to watch and go, Oh, man, this is garbage. What's this guy doing? All right. 3.8 liter V6. Not V6. My bad. Oh! -ho. Flat 6. That sounds so good. God, that thing revs all the way up to almost, I think it's, yeah, like 8,000. That's vicious. Great sounding engine. It's a howler. Um, I could have, maybe, but... I don't know, given the track record of this game and how some of these cars push. The first turn wasn't a Banks turn, it was flat. I was being a little cautious. The one thing I did notice about this game is that the sense of speed uh, is a little bit different. <laughs>
Yeah, once the wheels start making that noise, anything faster is going to be ineffective. And then, of course, you get a little bit of that. You get the oversteer and possible drifting off. Oh, be quiet. I clutched in. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about the grinding noise in the game. It's like, oh, you were, you were shifting without pushing the clutch in. No, I definitely did that. I pushed the clutch in. Can't tell I'm, uh, I'm on a wheel right now. I don't know if you guys are getting into the uh, noise bleed from my uh, shifter and clutch. but But if you are, it just adds to the experience, right? Trying to minimize that. A little chittering is fine, but once it gets to the full on, where it uh, sounds like you're doing a burnout and you're just. Sixty miles per hour is the most I can go around that turn without going off into the grass. Like in an Indy car, you're talking about uh, the the player view. I mean, I could change that on the fly right here. Or are you talking about just the heads up? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I get the best sense when I'm in the car just because. Oh, okay. I'll have to take a look at that in a second. Yeah, it's just different for different for every game, and it's just a matter of just getting used to it. I've been playing a lot of uh, Forza Horizon 3 lately, a little bit of Dirt Rally, um, every once in a while Assetto Corsa, and yeah, it's just each game differs by the, you know the sense of speed you get. Sometimes I think it's the field of view. Yeah, the camera motion. Yeah. Um, it almost every once in a while feels like you're going slower than you are, but uh, yeah. Anyway, finish test drive and let's get this thing going against the pack here. I know that's what you want to see. You want to see the race. Oh, I'm not in the back this time. Nice. Yikes. Holy cow, this thing takes off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let these guys... Uh, ah, initial turn. That guy kind of pushed me. That was weird. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a sense of... Uh, camera motion, like the shake and stuff.
rocks. Love it. Wait, why is my current lap invalidated? Did I go off somewhere? My current lap time has a little uh, caution sign on it. Probably because I clipped the apex on one of those uh, S-turns, or the uh, chicane. Wait, how many laps is this? Oh, two or four, okay. Whew, I'm like, hopefully I'm not doing a ten lap race, that would be... I'm not into the endurance stuff at the moment. Sometimes if you veer too close to another car, in the game one day, this guy from turn 10 was in the lobby talking about some of those types of things. Oh, okay. Well, I was pretty close to him, but that was, that was in the first lap, I thought. <clears> hmm. <throat> Unless it, uh, like, double invalidated, so it went on to, like, the next lap and was like, no. Well, so far, so good. I don't see anything on this one, unless I fly off into uh, into the infield or something. It's good to know that. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing that. I'm sure any some other viewers who uh, may be experiencing the same thing that might uh, might help them out and understand what's really going on in the game. No. Oh. Yeah, I took that corner way too hot and I just spun the car. Same thing here. Carries to lap two sometimes with all oh, when you're dense uh, the distance before the end. Yeah. Gotcha. That's what I figured because I had seen that uh, carry over a couple times for things. I wonder if that's intentional. Probably is so that somebody can't buffer their next lap 
by doing something like outrageous in the lap before it. That's what I was thinking, taking a shortcut and getting speed before the... Noise! Ah, that car looks so good! I do want to see a little bit of the replay. I don't want to bore you guys a ton, but... Uh... Now that guy kind of pushed me a little bit, made me go a tiny bit faster than I wanted to. He scraped my bumper! Yeah, see, like, when, when I was in the car, you didn't see this. I didn't feel like you were, like, getting this sense of speed. But when you're watching on the replay, well, maybe not this angle, but. but this angle, definitely. And this one, you're getting a pretty good sense that these cars are just screaming down these straights and around the corners. mouse out of the way. It's probably annoying. By the way, if anybody has an app they would recommend that would be a good multi-chat overlay that would allow me to also have my games full screen, uh, let me know. Right now I'm, I'm using Restream.io's multi-chat. Um, but at the moment, I haven't come across any games where I would be able to play full, in full screen and still have the overlay, like right over here. Um, I have to play them in borderless window, and that's kind of meh. And then, of course, then when you play with a the mouse, then it's... You know, like if you're playing a, an FPS game, then you have the chance of getting the mouse clicking into your uh, your chat screen. So maybe I'm gonna—I don't know if I could disable mouse mouse activation switch over window or whatever. I don't know. It's Doctor's Lugworth. I'll race you if I can connect to multiplayer. Oh, that sounds fun. All right, we'll do that. Yeah, where'd it go? I'll go back, go back, go back. There we go. Quitting.
Oh, did I? Oh, ho, 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 look at that. What is that? Only uh, 130 XP away from the next driver level. Oh, that's cruel. Right at the right at the edge there. Uh, multiplayer. TGM. Me too. Me too. Also known as Beer Belly 49. Nice. That's uh. That's it. Multiplayer. Let me take a look. Establishing a quality connection. Good to know. Quality. Yes, sure. Yeah. All right. Restrictions. Private match. Invite friend. Uh, do I have to? People you might know. Oh, these are all the people that are on my. So I'm probably gonna have to go to. Uh... What's the Xbox app? Let me go ahead and do that. I'll add you guys on that. Let's see. Find people or clubs. Parties. Messages. Let's see. Dr. Slugworth. Oh! Dr. Slugworth. There we go. Okay, add friend. Perfect. And then let me see if I can add... Beer Belly 49. Search button to search all of Xbox. Is this you? <laughs> Add friend. I'm assuming that's you. Okay. Done. Let's do uh, create private match. Oh, I need to invite a friend. Well, I will do that then. So, where'd you go? Does it not see you until... Hmm. It doesn't look like the game automatically updated the friends list. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Alright, well, um, let me restart the game. Nope, that's not it. That's it. What happened to you two? Like it didn't uh it didn't add you or it didn't add me instantly into your friends for the game? Yeah, that's kinda weird. I'm assuming it, it just wanted to restart the game, but I don't know. Probably had to refresh the database in the game and resync it with um, the game in your Xbox or whatever account. All right. I'm going to try this now. Uh, multiplayer. Establishing another quality connection. Sweet. Journey Zilapi. And there you are. Confirm. Oh, and then... Uh, Beer Belly, you want to... Or uh, TGM, you want me to send you one as well? Let's do that. Oh, it says you're offline. I'll invite you anyway. Join us, the union. All right. 
I'm going to go ahead and create a private match. Now the question is, can you hear me through the game? Testing, testing. Can you hear me through the game? It looks like my microphone's active. Okay, you got a Plymouth Cuda? Oh, you're choosing car. Oh, I heard something. It's not particularly loud, but I heard you, I think. An R. Holy cow. What do I own in R class? Uh, sort filter. I'm going to sort and filter. I've never used this car in a while. Oh, I can hear you. There we go. Apply filters. Yikes. Some, uh, interesting cars here. You know what? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with this car. The Aston. I can't see what car it is yet. That's a number 7 Aston GT3. It's only 833. Um. That's fine. I'm good with that. Um, let's. I'll, I'll pick a track that's fun here. There we go. It is that one. Custom tracks every day. See it. Indy's wide open. Oh, I found something good. You like it? Alright, I'm assuming that this car is paddle shift, so I'm going to go ahead and set my assist to just straight up manual. Oh, don't pick that one. Pick the uh, straightaway for that. There's straight a up? turn, or there's a, uh, um, call it, the track sure. configuration for that one. Uh huh. Um, there's a sharp turn right near the starting line, which um, is annoying. But. That's why I picked it. <laughs> I love my turns. Hey, you got you got the more power, so let me have my turns. <laughs> All right. All right, ready? Yep. All right, good luck and have fun. I'll try not to eat you. <laughs> oh, visibility, I feel like I'm in a bucket. Just a little bit there.
Oh, that thing is pretty quick. here. Sorry if I can't hear you, Dweet. My uh, game sounds are really loud and kind of drowning anything else out at the moment. Got it? Nice. Good win. Thanks. Wait, what was the, uh... Shoot, I didn't get to see the... The times for that. That just quickly flashed back. 156 and a clean lap. Nice.
Good stuff. Oh, what did I get? I want something. Because my uh, driver or my level is at star now. I can't do anything else. Star? Oh, okay. What? Uh, what is that after? It's like, what's the cap then? Uh, after 500. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sitting at like 17 right now. Clearly, I don't play a ton, but uh, yeah, that was cool. All right. I'm probably going to take a break for a while, but uh, I'll be back on later. Thanks for playing. Yep, no problem. All right. And uh, to all you guys out there watching, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.